Hey everyone, welcome back to Nexus Core. I'm Richard and today we're gonna to be unboxing the Chronojet Stride Deck or officially known as the Chronojet Stride Deck Set. Before we go in and crack open this incredibly anticipated box, I wanna give a really quick shout out to our sponsor, which is 50 Cards. If you haven't heard it already, 50 Cards is the designated stop for picking up your nation bundles and play sets. You can go in, pick up base rarity, full play sets of whatever nation you pick. And that way you're able to beat the hype and beat all those market prices before the set releases. And you get everything you need to update all your decks. So if you're a player like me, who just keeps updating the same nation over and over and over again, every time there's a new set, best opportunity for you to update your deck. So definitely go ahead and check out 50 Cards. 50 Cards is also selling the Messiah version of the deck sets. So if you wanna go ahead and pick those up before the release on the market, go ahead and pre-order your Messiah deck set right now. And don't forget to use code Nexus to get 5% off when you go in the checkout. So without further ado, let's go ahead and open it up. We're gonna go ahead and crack open the Chronojet Stride deck set. So name right there uh no info on the contents on the outside uh this is the premium uh stride deck set so this is the one that comes with the play mat the deck box the frame all the cards are foiled it comes with a lot of really really nice stuff so i'm actually really excited to crack this bad boy open so let's just go ahead and grab my box opener there's one there's two just peel the saran wrap off and then just go ahead and jumping in that already looks so nice that's so nice get the saran wrap out of there um okay open it up from here flap this open so starting off this is what i'm assuming is the frame so that's the frame i'm gonna pull this open oh this is the pieces for the frame so this is what we're gonna to put together for the frame in a bit. So I'm gonna put that aside for now. This is the frame contents. I believe Busher had also put together a little tutorial on how to put this together too. So I might have to watch that for a sec. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that. Oh, the deck, the deck box, play mat. I think that's just hollow, but look, we got our little marquees. Power markers, that's so cool. Little stickers for when you want to mark power and stuff. Um, and you can put them on these. This is so nice. And you can kind of customize it to see how you want to put it. So you can put the marker how you want it. So if you want like your power one and your 13K base sticker on the same token, because you might flip them back and forth between that if you're playing against Dredgewel. This is just cool. This is just really, really cool. I'm getting too distracted. Let's go ahead and get into the contents so we got the deck right there this is the 50 card deck which should also come with the eight card g zone as well you got these little frames for the markers of the cards too i believe it's like one of each of the the ride lines so you got chrono jet smoke gear macer gear chrono dran so these are what's going to be in that a sick sick deck box very simple it's got the red and the blue but like it's it's clean it's just incredibly clean to to, ha to have this is just really really nice to come with it it's everything you need when you're starting off to play so if you're a brand new player and you're able to pick this up pick it up like it's everything you need to start playing this game and then the play mat as well which i'm going to go ahead and open up in a bit but i wanted to get all the contents of the box out of the way since i thought that's hollow there's nothing in there that's what's in the box and the box like 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 this you can use this as a storage box you can keep uh deck boxes in here if you want you can put them in sideways like this you can keep cards in here um looks like they're a little off so you can't really store much in here but it is a storage box in general which is nice to have if you're a very very big gear chronicle fan you're probably gonna love the premium deck set if you haven't picked it up already. I believe the best thing to go into first is the playmat, right? Sure, we can do that. So let's just go ahead and start with the playmat because then we can kind of start laying things out on the playmat 
as we go. Oh, there's a padding inside as well. So this is the mat. There's a little bit of bubble wrap inside, but you can kind of a pretty good view of the mat. This is like the full contents. This is like edge to edge right here where my hands are. This mat is so cool. This is a really, really, really nice mat. And I'm even more so looking forward to the Messiah one when that comes out. The next thing I'm going to, I'm not gonna open these up because these are just the little markers that you pop open and you put the little stickies on. Um, but I'm not gonna do anything like that right now, but I will go ahead and go into opening this up. Cool. Flip that up. Pull those out and oh there was there's was five so i was correct there was one of each of the ride line and the last one was a yeah it's just a it's just a frame for your cards so it looks like what you can do with this is if you wanted to if you wanted to keep these as a as a keepsake what we could do is you could put the ride line in these top loaders on the end so you can kind of have the chrono jet keep chrono jet dragon in there if you just wanted like as a collectible so there's one for chrono jet there's one for a smoke gear dragon, there's one for Maester Gear Dragon, and then there's one for Chrono Dran. Last but not least is the Gear Chronicle symbol. This one I think people are probably just gonna use to put their favorite Gear Chronicle card in it just to have it on display. Uh, speaking of displays, comes with the display as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put these back in here for now. Show off the display real quick. Just get that out of the way. That's nice. All right, this is a sticky, a sticky, and another sticky. So looks like we got a few stickies on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll come back because I thought this was gonna be kind of like a, you put it together real quick kind of thing. But since I don't wanna mess it up and I don't want, I want it to look really nice when you put it all together, I'm gonna save putting this together for a little bit later. So for now, I'm just gonna set these aside. We're just gonna go into opening up the, the deck. We're gonna zoom in, make this a little easier for myself. There's the backing. Slide this out. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there we go. A little, little plastic piece is gonna slide off. And there is our Chrono Jet deck set. Go ahead and uh, kind of fan this out. So it looks like, oh, they already got all the play sets there. So the premium deck set, you'll notice, all four copies are foiled. So nice! That looks so nice. Chronojet are foiled in this one. And it also comes with foiled copies of the ride line. So we have our foiled Smoke Gear Dragon. We have our foiled Maester Gear Dragon, um, which is going for a lot of money right now for premium players. So if you already have the Maester Gear when you bought your deck set, you pretty much made your money back thus far. We have our foiled D-Series Chronodran. And uh, then we're getting on to our main deck. So let's just go ahead. I'm gonna kind of set these aside and get them in the right order. Set those back there. And then we're gonna go into the contents of the main deck. So it looks like we're starting off with three copies of Bally. So this is uh, bringing it, a lot of these cards are just bringing it back from the, the G era. So Bally skill, let's just go ahead and kind of pick it up and take a look at it. During your turn, if any player's rear guard is put into the bottom of the of their deck during this turn this gets 10k so either player's turn and that's a gb2 skill so it's when you have two face-up units in your g zone when this card is discarded for the cost of stride you can draw a card so striding you have to discard cards uh, with grades equal to three or more so this is a grade three so obviously when you discard you get a drawback which is really nice because you already get your triple drive i believe for your g units I, I hope they still have triple drive i have to double check that so it comes with three bally um, then we've got four copies of Upstream Dragon. Let's see here, Upstream Dragon, GB1, when this unit attacks the Vanguard, this gets 5k. At the end of the battle, put this to the bottom of your deck. Search your deck for up to one grade one and call it to the back row rear. So that also triggers a uh, Bally skill as well. So these kind of go hand in hand. So there's four of that. Next up for the grade two. Another thing I'm noticing is all of these cards in the premium set are foiled. Every single one of them is full, even these like little generic cards. Steam Fighter Argandia, when this is placed on guard, Soul Blast 1, this gets 5 shield. If your G-Zone has a face-up card, it gets 10 instead of 5. So it's a 15k guard for a Soul Blast. The kind of a card that you 
get rid of but you might want to keep just for the sake of you know the aesthetic of the steams but i feel like there's other grade twos you might want to run instead next on our grade ones she's back steam maiden arlem is back in d series what does she do she's a sentinel when this is placed on guard circle choose one of your units it cannot be hit if your hand is two or more cards you can choose a card from your hand and discard it steam maiden players for premium are also eating good from this set so this means that if you only have one or less in hand you can just pg without having to discard which is nice it has steam made it in its name so it goes with the theme so it comes with four pgs with the nice skills so that's the one that usually are in the main booster sets don't usually come in trial decks and i was about to say well i look like there were three but there are four copies of steam breath dragon as well steam breath steam breath dragon skill while you're paying the cost for a stride this can be discarded as a three nothing's changed there and if you have a Chrono Jet uh, Dragon Crest, discard this card, search your deck for up to one grade three Chrono Jet in its name, reveal and put it into your hand. If you search your deck, shuffle your deck. It's just to, uh, I guess, help you thin out your deck so you can stride. That kind of seems the play here, uh, but this can also discard a stride. So you get four copies of Steam Breath, which is really nice. Then we got another four copies. This is a new card for me. Gear Suro Magnetic Resonance. Looks like a goat. What do you do, goat? During your turn, if any player's rear guard is put to the bottom of their deck, this gets 5k, so it's a 13k booster. GB1, when this... Oh, GB1, this gets intercept and can intercept from the back row. That's cool. Actually, that's not bad for a trial deck card. Probably gonna switch it out. This is probably the card you're gonna switch out for a Brainwash Swirler. So, um... Keeping that in mind, but you know, it's a good uh, good start deck card. Oh, GG is back. Steam Scara GG. GG's skill. When this is placed on rear, if you have a Chrono Jet Dragon Crest, Soul Blast 2, draw a card. Uh, and if this unit was placed by your card's ability, it gets another 5k. So it's similar to the old GG, which was Soul Blast 2, draw. It's a generic like Soul Blast 2, draw that a lot of cards got back in the day, but. GG made its mark in the uh, in the show. It's it's continuing on the tradition of being a part of the Gear Chronicle madness. So it's nice that we got GG back. Now we're on to triggers. Oh look, they're, the triggers are not foiled. That is interesting because look at this. We got a single over trigger. This is our Galgameld, I believe. A Galmegeld, Galmegeld but it's not foiled. So keep that in mind, the triggers do not come foiled. This is the OT, the Dark States one from DBT01. Gives an extra 10K and a crit on top of the Hundo Mill to your van Vanguard. So it it's, it's the right trigger. And I'm really glad that they printed the skilled nation over trigger for these sets. So I'm glad that Brankate's gonna get it from Messiah. And I'm glad that we just have this from the get go for players that just wanna start playing. So for our trigger, lineup it looks like it comes with four crit lively breath dragon this uh it's a dragon and it's blue so it kind of fits the chrono jet theme um it also comes with four draws advanced clock dragon that's kind of cute and also fits the gear chronicle theme so we got four 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 it also comes with three front triggers these are very vanilla generic fronts so it looks like we're going with like a rainbow trigger theme and then also comes with four copies of Direful Doll Alexandra. And I'm I'm pretty sure Gear Chron I mean, I'm sorry, Dark States has a gear themed heel. Am I wrong? But it comes with this one. So at least you get you get your triggers, right? So we got four heel, three front, four draw, four crit. So it's a very generic, like rainbow-ish trigger lineup. Oh, and your your over trigger, obviously. All right, now we're getting to the fun stuff, which is the G zone. So right off the top, we have four copies of Chrono Dragon Next Stage, and it's got like this, all four copies have this really nice foiling at the bottom here with the name. So Chrono Dragon Next Stage skill. Stride, discard a grade three card with Chrono Jet in its name from hand. So you have to discard Chrono Jet to go and do this Chrono Dragon Next Stage. That's why the Steam Breath makes you search out Chrono Jet. So it's making more sense now. GB2. The end of the battle that this unit attacked a vanguard, kind of blast one, discard two from hand, put this unit into your G zone, face up, choose one of your vanguards of Chrono Jet and stand it. So this is nice because you don't have to flip for the cost, which is what the old next stage had to do. So this is actually some pretty interesting uh, premium plays you can do here. And this is a G unit, so it goes in the G zone. So it's the same for premium. And it comes with four copies. So you can do it four times if you would like. And it also comes with four copies 
of Fate Rider Dragon. Fate Rider is back with a retrain. So what does Fate Rider do? First skill uh, is the stride step. Choose one or more cards with grades three or greater and discard them. So it's not like next stage where it has to be Chrono Deck. It can be any grade three. When this attacks, Cannon Blast one, turn a card in your G zone face up, put a rear guard at the bottom of your deck. Search your deck for up to one unit with the same one unit card with grade plus one of the card you put to the bottom of your deck and call it. Choose one of your units and it gets 5k for each face up card in your G zone. So this is similar to the old Fate Rider, but this kind of helps you get more incorporated with um, the other skills, which is when a units go to bottom, more power. What I do like about this one though, is that it flips something face up. So it kind of helps you accelerate your GB skills. And obviously because you're flipping up units, this gets stronger later in the game as well. So it's nice that they give you four and four, has the same foiling, which is really nice. I just love this foiling, this is so nice. Full art, SP-ish looking foiling there. And then now we're getting into, oh, real quick, an extra Balif was sitting in the back. So it looks like it doesn't come with just three Balif, it comes with four. One was hidden in the back, <laughs> so it comes with four Bally. And then now we're getting into the bread and butter, our crest. So it comes with two crests in the premium set, one to be put in the display case, uh, and the other to be used in your deck. So you only you need one crest in your main deck. So what the crest does, you can perform stride and cannot ride grade three or greater units without Chrono Jet in their names. The original power of your grade threes of Chrono Jet become 13K. So it's all Chrono Jets, Chrono Jet G, Chrono Jet Z. During your turn, if you have a grade three or greater Vanguard or Chrono Jet, all of your front row units gain 5K for each face of Chrono G zone. So another reason why Fate Rider is really good. At the beginning of your battle phase, Choose up to one of your grade three or greater rear guards and increase or decrease the grade to zero until the end of the turn. So you can do that to help you kind of combo off with Fate Rider as well if uh, you have a rear guard that you just want to send back and pull out a grade one. You get the crest off the right skills, which I kind of glossed over. So we're going to go into that right now. So starting off, Chrono Jan, which is our starter, does the same. Mesa Gear, when this is placed by writing on the Chrono Jan, draw a card and you get a Chrono Jet Crest on top. So if you go in second, you can draw two. So you get your Crest acquired immediately. Then we have Smoke Gear Dragon. When this is wrote upon by a grade three or Chrono Jet in the same, Soul Blast one, search your deck for a grade three card, reveal it, put it in your hand, shuffle your deck. Gives you stride right away, super easy. And then we have Chrono Jet Dragon. This is the exact same Chrono Jet Dragon from GTD01, it's the exact same skill. GB2, when this attacks a Vanguard until the end of battle, this gets 5k and your opponent cannot call grade one or greater units to the Guardian Circle from hand. When your G unit strides on this unit, kind of blast one, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, put it on the bottom of their deck. The exact same skill, same base power, it's 11k, there is no Persona Ride symbol, this is the exact same card. So my favorite thing that Bushy confirmed is that if you have the old copies of Chrono Jet Dragon from over the years, if you picked up Trial Decks, the Signatures, the SP, you can use them in Standard because it's, it's the same card. So I, I really love that they allowed that. And it's the same for the Messiah deck that's coming up. If you have Alter Ego Messiahs, you can reuse those. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the contents besides the uh, the frame. So uh, I'm gonna take a moment to kind of look into the frame real quick and we'll, uh, we'll come back to this. After watching that quick little tutorial that was put out by the Card Fight Vanguard channel, I think I'm ready to put this thing together. So we've got our, I'm gonna actually zoom out just a little bit. Got our three pieces, we got the front frame, we got the, looks like this is the back plate and this is the glass. Yep, I can read, glass. I'm gonna start by peeling this off. I don't know if it matters which side we use. That looks nicer. So I'm gonna assume this is the side that you're gonna wanna put the card on. Um, so then I'm going to put that aside. I'm going to put the frame frame next. Yes, I believe. So. Yeah. Oh, I already forgot what I'm supposed to do. Okay. I got a little corner on this side. Okay. I got the other corner. Order of operations here is as follows. Put the crest card in. That does fit like right there. So realistically, you can put any any card you want in there. Oh, that looks nice. So that's the cover. Got the 
other side. Smack it in there, right? Just plop it in. There we go, all lined up. So now that we got it all lined up and it's protected in there, we gotta get our little knickknacks, a little bag of knickknacks right here. And slide these out. All right, so we got, um, I'm assuming you wanna put the flat pieces on the front and this is what's gonna go on the back to kind of tighten it in. But it also looks like it comes with these little stands if you wanna kind of angle it up, stand it up if you wanna display it on a shelf or something. So uh, I believe that that confirms my theory that the flats are supposed to be on the front. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in my flats. And ta-da! That's what it looks like all put together. So we got our shiny crest in our frame. And if you want, you can put these in on the bottoms just to kind of help stand it up so it can sit on like a, on your bookshelf or however you want to set it up. This is just a really nice addition as well for players that just kind of want to have something decorative for their Vanguard cards just to have around, in, you know, in their space. This was a really, really, Really cool experience putting all of this together. I just want to say that. So all in all, just kind of going over everything that we've gotten. We've gotten our Chronojet deck, our frame, our deck box, our mat, which is right here. These nice little top loaders and our little stickies that you can put for little placement markers. Thank you guys for watching and sticking around for the unboxing. And thanks again to 50 Cards for helping me pick this up. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.